I don't know if I don't know how to describe this. Nash Carter has been released from WWE. As first reported by Sean Ross Sab, the 27-year-old has been let go following allegations of domestic abuse by his wife. Impact Wrestling's Kimber Lee. Photos of Lee with a swollen jaw allegedly caused by Carter were posted by her on Monday. Lee tagged the official NXT Twitter account in her tweet, along with the caption, Hey NXT, this is my face after your tag champ Nash Carter got wasted. Hit me so hard he split my lip open. He told me I'm a wrestler, so I'm always marked up. I've hid this for a year, even forgave him, but I can't hide it anymore. You all wanted the proof. There it is. I'm sorry I backed out, but he was telling me lies all weekend to get me not to say anything. A follow-up tweet reads... On Tuesday, Lee posted a photo of Carter dressed up as Adolf Hitler and giving a Nazi salute. She captioned the photo with, Just another look at the kind of person Nash Carter is. I've hid so much for so long because I was so mentally abused. Not to mention the countless anti-LGBTQIA plus statements him and his family make. And, uh, and that's the story. So uh, where even to begin here? So... Uh, last week, I had heard that, uh, that Kimberly had posted something on Twitter, uh, some allegations, and then they were very quickly pulled, okay? And then, uh, I think that night was NXT. So, on NXT last night, or on, uh, la- it was last Tuesday. So, not this previous Tuesday, the Tuesday before WrestleMania. So they did a match, and uh, MSK was involved, and Imperium were the tag team champions. I could talk for hours about all of NXT, but Imperium were the tag team champions, and they were going to be defending at Stand and Deliver. So they did a multi-team person whatever match, and Nash Carter, one of the challengers, got pinned. So... I had heard that there was a tweet that got deleted. And so my, you know, obviously there's two things you think. Number one, you think, okay, well, they're going to win the tag titles on Saturday. That's why they did the job here. Or, you know, Stude's in trouble. So uh, he did the job and uh, I was half expecting like something's going to happen. You know, there was the tweet was deleted, but somebody's got to be looking into this. So uh, Saturday comes, and uh, the tag team titles are on the line, and uh, and MSK won the tag team titles. They're, they were the new champions. So uh, then, you know, a few days later, uh, Kimberly posts this, uh, she posts more, and, uh, and this would have been Monday or whatever, Sunday, Monday. I don't know the, I can't remember the exact timeline, but the point is, it was after they'd won the tag team titles. And uh, then Tuesday, I'm watching NXT, and uh, there's Nash Carter and Wes Lee. And they do a promo, and they're setting up a match for the following week. Then we're doing the show Wednesday, and we're interviewing Big Demo, and I start to get these messages. Nash Lee has been, or Nash Carter has been fired. And uh, once that happened, I was like, what is happening here? So, like... If I heard about these deleted tweets well over a week ago, where were you guys? You put the titles on him, and now you decide to fire him? So, uh, as it turns out, the the reason, apparently, and I've heard this from, from several people, the reason that he was actually fired had nothing to do with the allegations, but rather the photo. It says here he was dressed as Hitler, but in fact he was not wearing any clothes. Uh, that was apparently the reason that he was fired. Now, what I'm about to say, I don't want people jumping, oh, this is Brian's opinion. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I've heard about this, okay? So don't get mad at me. What I was told is that the reason that they won the tag team titles this weekend, even though the allegations were out there, The reason that happened was because it was not believed that uh, Kimberly was reliable. That was what I was told. They did not believe her story. NXT, I don't know what kind of investigations they do or if they just talk. I don't know what happened. But whatever happened, they determined that she was not credible. That's why they put the tag team titles on MSK. Now, I don't know this 100%. 
But uh, everybody going into Saturday thought the Creed brothers were going to win. And uh, all I can tell you is that the Creeds were told to have your family at the show. So I think the Creeds also thought they were winning. And for whatever reason, they put the belts on MSK. So anyway, then we go to the uh, then we go to the photograph, and uh, you know everyone's you know all over the photograph and everything like that. I don't know what happened with this photograph, okay? But and I have n- I have never done this, okay? And I think most people have not. But when I saw that photo, what I saw was, you know, this guy had a beard, and he decided he was going to shave his face. And, uh, you know, how many of us have shaved the face and left the big handlebar mustache or the Fu Manchu or you leave some stupid hair thing on your face and you take a picture of it and you finish shaving your face? I think that's what this guy did. I mean, perhaps the guy is a, a Nazi. I don't know, okay? But I, I believe that's the context of this photograph, okay? He took a really stupid picture because he's an idiot and, uh, and apparently sent it to people, all right? I, personally, I, you can tell me I'm wrong, I would be way more concerned about the allegations of abuse than a dumb person taking a dumb photograph. But, you know, they did whatever they were going to do, and they were more concerned about this photograph than the, uh, the allegations of abuse. And so, that's the story. That's apparently why he was fired. And uh, now there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on. They they were breaking up uh, Imperium because I think the idea was it was going to be like Marcel Bartel and Walter or uh, Gunter going up to the main roster. And uh, poor Fabian Eichner was just going to be a singles guy in, in uh, NXT. And now, now that there is no more MSK, you know, I'm thinking that uh, Imperium may be staying down there. And now we've got vacant tag team titles. So, you know, whoever's going to win the tag titles, maybe the uh, Creeds can call their families again. But uh, the whole situation is just, I mean, it's mind-blowing to me. I heard that there are many people in uh, in NXT that, uh, you know, they they are on Nash Carter's side for whatever you want to make of that. I also know there are a lot of people at NXT that when they put the titles on Nash Carter... They were like, what? I mean, this is a classic WWE. Why would you do this? But they did, and now they've they've paid for it. So that's that's what I can tell you about this story. But uh, what I can tell you is he's fired, and now they got to deal with uh, you know what they're going to do because they made these decisions. Well, was it a good decision for you that uh, the mother of your children come home yesterday and get you off the hook from all the stress and the the well, strain that you were under I'm, yesterday. I have no clue what this has to do with the story, but yes, life is it's much better It's me getting with away from that story because I don't know what I can really add to it. Well, hey, we point. can move on if because you want. Because it's so sloppy. Because it really is. Because at this point, it's, it is he said, she said with pointing and bad decisions being made and all of these things playing out in front of our eyes, which are going to probably continue for a bit. So I'm not sure what I can really add to either one of those stories to start with, including the sunny one, which is just awful and tragic and terrible it's just a uh there certainly was a wrestlemania uh plunge and a hangover that that took place you know the the high that people were on after some of the matches in the weekend uh a lot of it crashing coming back down to earth with some of these stories if you're a big fan of these video clips here on youtube you're missing out on full length shows down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen click that join button and when you sign up you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on youtube over 300 at current count Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.